On the 17th of June 2022, Tembo Sako celebrated 50 years of existence at an event held at the EABL grounds. In attendance were Cooperative Society Royalty, including Chief Guest Dolphin Aremo, Director of Cooperatives Nairobi, Peter Njuguna, CEO Sasra, and Vincent Marangu, Director Cooperatives Banking Division, Cooperative Bank of Kenya, among others. I would want to welcome all of you. I can see beautiful faces here. It's such a wonderful, wonderful day. We are here to celebrate the 50 years of Tembo. It's been a milestone for us, and it's a huge thing for us. We cannot take it for granted. We as Cooperative Bank are very proud of Tembo Sako. Uh, it's a circle that we are affiliated with for those 50 years. And I can tell you, the prudent management that is in this circle is in another level. In her keynote address, Chief Guest Dolphin Aremo congratulated the cooperators for their admirable saving culture that has not only assisted many raise their standards of living, but also put Kenya on the map. The cooperatives as a whole command an asset base of 1.3 trillion shillings and 885 billion in savings and deposits. The country currently occupies first position in Africa and seventh in the entire world when it comes to the cooperative movement. Kenya has made great strides in economic progression courtesy of cooperatives. Their contribution towards economic growth and employment creation cannot be overstated. They offer services in all sectors of our economy, cutting across financial services, housing, insurance, transport, hospitality, agriculture, among others. Ms. Aremo further reassured cooperators of government support in growing the sector and protection of members' assets and funds. The government will continue to create an enabling environment for the sustainable growth and development of this sector. This includes development of appropriate legal policy and institutional framework that promotes saving culture, prudent financial management, and good governance for realization of full potential. These sentiments were echoed by the CEO of SASRA, the body charged with supervision and regulation of the industry, Peter Njuguna. The regulator, however, insisted on the importance of SACO members practicing active oversight as they are the first line of defense against mismanagement. Successful organizations emanate from, you know, good leadership. But for this, it's also unique because who puts the leaders in office? Who does that? It's the members, is it? So when you gift yourself with good leaders, then you are actually gifting yourselves. In a circle, in a cooperative, you are the owner, you are the customer. So if anything goes wrong, you blame yourself. If you demand high dividends, high dividends, you'll be paid. But you'll be withdrawing your deposits, pole pole. And therefore, for us, from where we sit, is the first regulator for this business is the circle members, who are the customers. <laughs> The event culminated with the cutting of the cake by long-serving members of the SACO. <laughs> Tembo SACO first opened its doors in 1972 and currently has an asset base of about 4.5 billion and a membership of about 6,000 people. For Charms Media, my name is Michael Zimanje.